<laughs> Hello. Can you hear me? Okay. My name is Amariam, and I am from Creighton Prep. I'm a sophomore, by the way. Okay. And this is my piece entitled, uh, what's it called again? Yeah. Life After Death. As the preacher says, we are gathered here today to not mourn the death of one's life, but to celebrate the life that he once lived. I realize that life after death is a long lasting sense of what killed a once growing butterfly. A fragrance of death in the air as a cloud smelling of smoke and alcohol pour a mixture of sweat and my tears into a living room couch that I can see right through. I see a reflection of me. Disappointed in myself for not being enough and disappointed in myself for being enough for you. You see, a majority of my life I've been living in fear and living in silence. Afraid of asking for the, afraid of asking for the privacy that I never got from you and fear that this will be my life. Like a coffee nail burning down to the head, smoke left a trail of threat in the air. At my funeral, my mouth is sewed together because the guests at my funeral do not want to see the bats flying up my throat and out my mouth. Remove these stitches. There is no need for them. The process of keeping me quiet has already been done. The bats in my stomach just trying to find a way out. Help me out. Let me out. My soul just trying to find a way out. No, I can't scream a shout with you covering my mouth. You see, life after death is being told that this is what I wanted that the butterflies couldn't contain themselves as if the butterflies didn't die in the first four seconds of my panic attack. I didn't shake loose of the skeletons like they shook loose with my body. You broke me. You stole from me. With my casket being used as an ashtray, built up ashes come from out of your pores into my body. Every burning, dripping sensation was a violation to my body that I do not take ownership in anymore. Because once I said no, and you heard the word go, I died and didn't get a chance at my happy, eternal life. But if there is life after death, then I am living it. Every day I live to be more and more alive, and every day I live to be less a victim and more a survivor. I am a survivor in the chrysalis. You stopped my time of growth, but I am a survivor. I will step out of this casket and I will spread my beautiful wings, and you will not shut them up or shut them out because I am a survivor. I will come through stepping like I've never stepped before because you are not there to pull me back anymore. You are not there covering my mouth, whispering, shh. I am a survivor. Did you hear me? I said, I am a survivor of life after death. 